Hello, next one. A man's wearing an earring is neither immoral nor illegal. Radical sentiment in the 1970s. Liberal professors have been indoctrinating their students for generations. Um, okay. We're going to do a symbolization key, so we're going to look for logical connective type words. Uh, none of that stuff is logical. Am I suddenly trying to tell you that men are not logical? No, that's not what I'm saying. Um, neither nor, though. That looks like some logic -y connective words. So what's left after that? I think we are connecting together these two sentences. A man's wearing an earring is immoral. A man's wearing an earring is illegal. Maybe you think here, so here's some like good hygiene to keep in mind when you're doing your symbolization keys. It's a good idea to take out negations because you can always represent a negation with uh, a not sign. So maybe you look at this and think, well, really, my key should be a man's wearing an earring is moral and a man's wearing an earring is legal. And then I can write not one and not the other one. Um, I think in this case, maybe that doesn't work because you might want to think. So you might think there are the things that are immoral and there are the things that are moral. But there might be a gray area in between where things are neither moral nor immoral. Likewise, with legality, there might be things that are legal, like maybe something's legal if there's a law that says you can do it, and things that are illegal, and things are illegal if there's a law saying you can't do it. But maybe there are things where like the law just doesn't say. So it's neither legal nor illegal. So in this case, I like keeping the, the negated form of the, of the predicates of the property we're ascribing here. So a man's wearing an earring is immoral. A man's wearing an earring is illegal. We want to write neither M nor L. So the problem here, the options I'm going to give you are different ways of trying to capture that with multiple connectives. We don't have a single connective for neither nor. So you're going to have to figure out how to do this. Here's one option, not M or not L. Here's another one, not bracket M or L, close bracket. Next option, not M and not L. Or finally, option D, not bracket M and L. So think about which one you think is right. Um, I'm going to point something out. Um, notice the difference between what the brackets do. So this one says the things on either side of me, either the thing on the left or the thing on the right. The thing on the left is not M, the thing on the right is not L. So that negation over there, that first negation, just applies to the M. This one just applies to the L. On the other hand, this one, the negation applies to the whole thing that comes after it. It applies to the whole thing in the brackets. It says something is false. What thing? The thing inside the bracket. The thing inside the bracket says M or L. So the sentence as a whole says, it's not the case that M or L. And likewise for how these two sentences work. So figure out your answer. There's more than one correct answer. And I'll see you in a second.